Protecting a pope who wants to be accessible to the public is never an easy task. Unlike other world leaders who are very conscious of their threat, the pope feels that it's part of his mission to be a man of the people, especially this pope. The security is given the task of protecting him, and they're saying, well, how can we protect you if you get out of that car? And he's saying, well, how can I be with the people unless I do get out of the car? The protection of the pope has a rich history to it. During the assassination attempt of John Paul II, the Pope Mobile was simply a Jeep-type vehicle with a roll bar, and the Pope would stand on a platform and wave. Because of the assassination attempt, they built a vehicle that, one, was armored, two, rose him on a platform surrounded by plexiglass. So he was still in an open top, but if shots rang out, they'd be likely to shoot from below, and they'd be hitting the plexi. It would give the Swiss Guard the opportunity to pull him down off the steps and protect him. This would be great if Francis was willing to use it. Pope Francis didn't want to be behind bulletproof glass, so his Pope Mobile is often just in the back of a kind of a pickup truck, essentially going through the crowds. When he travels, Pope Francis likes to be in a Fiat or in sort of a, a cheap, moderate car because he doesn't want to be seen in a fancy car. So the United States Secret Service had a challenge in this. The Pope visited us in 2015. The first stop being Washington, D.C. Protecting the President of the United States, of course, is a very complicated job. But in a lot of ways, protecting the Pope is a lot more complicated. The Fiat in question that he rode in was not armored. Matter of fact, it was donated by a local dealer. It's a small Fiat 500 four-door hatchback, which is not the norm in a Secret Service motorcade. Therefore, what they had to do was flank the vehicle on either side by armored Secret Service SUVs, they were Chevy Suburbans. And in doing so, they created basically a block that if someone was to attack the motorcade, they could converge on and get him out of there. As long as he can touch the people, as long as he can kiss the babies, as long as he can shake the hands of the elderly and of the disabled people, he really doesn't care if he's safe or not. 